Visual cliffs are platforms used in psychology experiments that appear to have a several foot drop off partway across. Most of them have a high contrast checkerboard cloth covered by plexiglass. The plexiglass is right on top of the cloth on one side, but on the other side there is a several foot drop under the plexiglass. So it looks like a significant drop, but it's safe to cross. The first use of a visual cliff was in a 1960 study published in Scientific American by Eleanor Gibson and Richard Walk. They were interested in finding out if depth perception is something we inherently have or if it's a learned process. So they placed 36 different infants from 6 to 14 months on the center platform of the apparatus. Then the mother or caregiver would stand on one side of the platform with a toy enticing the baby to come over to him. The assumption was if the baby was hesitant to cross that they could perceive the depth of the dropped floor and perceived it to be an actual fall. Nine of the babies refused to leave the center platform at all, but all 27 of the babies walked over to their mother when they were on the shallow end of the platform. However, only three of the babies crossed over the deep end of the visual cliff to get to their mother with a toy, and all of them were super hesitant to do it. Many of them patted the glass with their hand, but still refused to cross. Gibson and Walk interpreted their findings to mean that babies can perceive depth, at least as soon as they're able to crawl. They hypothesized that babies' perception of depth and fear of heights is innate, but they weren't able to actually show that because by the time that they're able to crawl, they already have at least six months of life experience. So they also tested baby animals too, because unlike newborn people, newborn animals can locomote pretty dang well. None of the baby chicks that they tested, under 24 hours old, stepped off onto the deep end. Likewise, little goats and lambs never stepped off onto the deep side. But the rats, the rats didn't seem to care at all and would step off onto the deep side without really any hesitation. Rats being nocturnal don't use sight so much for information. They find food by scent and use long stiff whiskers for tactile information. And by the time kittens could freely move about, they were also scared of the drop-off. In a 1985 version of the experiment by James Soros F. All looked at one-year-old babies to see if they looked to their mothers to assess the danger of the visual cliff. And when the moms showed an expression of fear, none of the babies actually did cross. But when they showed an expression of joy, 73% of the tots crossed over into the danger zone.